Hello, my name is Dave Michaels, host of Flight 1080. Today I'm going to be speaking with Dr. Joel Wallach. Now many of my listeners are already familiar with the name. Dr. Joel Wallach is a doctor of veterinary medicine, a naturopathic physician, and a pathologist. He received his education at the University of Missouri, Iowa State University, and Washington University in St. Louis. He's written over a dozen books, including Dead Doctors Don't Lie and Let's Play Doctor. One of those books, Diseases of Exotic Animals, Medical and Surgical Management, is in the Smithsonian Library. His CDs and lectures have been produced in at least seven languages. He's helped tens of thousands of people and their pets to live longer, healthier lives. He's also helped people to start their own business, allowing them to pay off the bills and get out of debt. So if you've got low energy, aches and pains, back problems, maybe you need a hip or knee replacement, we're going to tell you how to get better. If you've got a mortgage to pay, or you're trying to save money for a retirement, a college fund, or you need extra income to make ends meet, then listen up. One man has combined all this in a simple program, and that man is Dr. Joel Wallach. Dr. Wallach, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Appreciate your hospitality. Now, the reason we're here is to show people how to live longer, feel younger, and how to start their own home-based business. We're going to provide some product information and training as well, so I think anyone interested is going to enjoy this show. Dr. Wallach, you've developed a formula that provides what our bodies need to stay healthy and to recover from injuries and illness. Your company is called Longevity. I've been working with Longevity for over seven years now. I've worked with lots of people, and basically what I tell them is that they need to take the 90 essential nutrients for general health. Now, it gets more complicated and a little more involved when you're dealing with certain issues, but that's basically what I tell them. Does that sound right, Doc? Start off with the 90 essential nutrients. Well, that's the basic core of all of our programs. All vertebrates, whether you're a hummingbird or an elephant or a giraffe or a porpoise or a human being, all vertebrates require these 90 essential nutrients for our stem cells to do their jobs. All of our cells in our body have a life. They don't live forever. And so as they die, the stem cells need to make new ones replace the ones dying of natural causes. Well, if they don't have the 90 essential nutrients, they can't do that. They, it's kind of like... You could be the best bricklayer in the world, but if you don't have bricks and mortar, you don't have anything. Mm. You could have the most perfect um, blueprint for your dream house, but if you don't have carpenters and plumbers and electricians and roofers and shingles and brick and mortar and, and lumber and stuff like that, guess what? You don't have a house. And so if you're depending on what may or may not be in the food, you're, you're going to lose. Now, Dr. Wallach, you've been doing this for a long time. How did you find out about minerals? How did this come about? When did this start? Where did it start? Tell me a little bit about your journey, how it all began. Sure. Okay. I lived in a little Angus beef farm in Missouri, about 80 miles west of St. Louis. And when I was four years old, I started getting problems, uh, emotional problems. I'd be very aggressive and that sort of thing. And I was not sociable. And it got worse and worse and worse. By the time I was nine, I've been to 20 doctors. My family had taken me to 20 different doctors. They didn't even have a name for what I had back then. Today, it's Tourette syndrome, which is sort of a manifestation of autism. But they didn't have a name for it back then. And they were going to institutionalize me before I hurt somebody or hurt myself. And I didn't like the idea of being in a hospital for the rest of my life when I was nine years old. I didn't understand everything, but I understood that was going to be a restricted life. And so I went home that day. And I'm thinking, I said, you know, animals don't have these problems. Why don't animals have these problems? So I started eating the little alfalfa pellets that we would give the cows and the calves that night. The next morning, I put them in my cereal bowl with my milk. My mom took them away from me. She said, that's animal food. You can't eat that. My dad took it away from her and gave it back to me. He said, look, he's going to be in the hospital for the rest of his life. Let him eat what he wants. Dave, by the third day, I was cured. After getting worse and worse and worse for five years, seeing 20 doctors, and they had all thrown their hands up saying he's got to be institutionalized. In three days' time, I was cured. And I knew then at nine years old that the veterinary industry, the agricultural industry, the animal husbandry industry knew something that doctors didn't know. So I started looking, well, what's in these alfalfa pellets? Of course, on the big 50 pound bags of these pellets, they have a little analysis tag and they have all the minerals and vitamins and things that are in there, which they added to it. That's, that's not an analysis of the alfalfa and the corn and soybeans. But that was what they would put in there. That was in addition to what was naturally in the food. Now, Dave, you have to appreciate that plants only need three elements from the soil to make good seeds for the next generation and do what they need to do. They only need three. All vertebrates, including human beings, require 60. So most of the time, people are walking around 
There are 57 nutrients short just to maintain themselves, let alone perform at a maximum. Mm -hmm. And so that became one of my things. Of course, I wrestled, I played football, and I excelled in all these uh, very physical sports in high school because I'm eating these alfalfa pellets because I couldn't find any human foods or supplements with all these nutrients in them. So I'm still eating my alfalfa pellets. Well, then I learned that the veterinary industry knows that. They don't have prescription drugs uh, for animals. Um, we don't have uh, nursing homes for dogs with arthritis and dementia and stuff like that. And that's because they're getting all these nutrients in their food. So that's kind of when I really got started on this. And of course, I have a degree in agriculture from the University of Missouri. I have a degree in veterinary medicine from the University of Missouri. I have a degree, a postdoctoral fellowship, which is kind of like a PhD degree in pathology. Half of it was done at the University of Missouri. A quarter of it was done at Iowa State University. And the rest of it was done on a big National Institutes of Health grant. $25 million was given to me to study the causes of death of zoo animals in the big cities in the United States and people who lived around the zoos. And we were looking for a species of animals would be the canary in the mine. Because back in the 60s when all this was going on, everybody knew the earth was going to end in two weeks from pollution. And so we had to find some species of animals in the big zoos. When they would die, we would evacuate the cities, kind of like when the canaries would die in the mine, the coal miners knew to get out. And so uh, I did 20,000 autopsies, 17,000 some change of over 454 species of animals and 3,000 human beings at one project, total of 20,000 autopsies, 454 species. That thesis is in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure. I'm very, 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 very proud of that. And they put a hard cover on it and made it a textbook, 5,000 pages. It was like crazy. So they kind of edited it down to 1,200 pages, and they sell for $25,000 each now, brand new. It's cheaper to buy that book than it is to redo the study. Right. Uh, <laughs> we are here with Dr. Wallach today. And, folks, I want to talk about a few things, Dr. Wallach. I want to talk about the 90 essential nutrients, better health for you and your pet, building a home-based business and helping mm -hmm. others. If we can help you do all that stuff, it's fantastic. So I want everybody to sit back, relax, listen up, because if you're interested in longevity products, we're going to break it all down for you. Dr. Wallach is here joining us. Now, doctor, we don't claim to, to cure or treat any diseases, but you have found during your research that some diseases and, and maladies are caused by a lack of minerals, right? Okay, well, that's a very good question, because what I found was that there are no genetically transmitted diseases. I'm going to repeat that. There are no genetically transmitted diseases. There are no genetically transmitted birth defects. That was sort of made up to explain why doctors didn't know something. And I do have to say, I got one more degree here. Um, I went back to school and became a primary care physician, licensed as a naturopathic physician in California and Oregon since 1982. And so I am a licensed primary care physician, so I do legally treat people. In the beginning, before I had that degree in the license, Everything that I came up with for people, I gave an animal name for. For instance, um, the arthritis formula was uh, Dr. Wallach's pig arthritis formula because I wanted to make sure they knew I was a veterinarian. I wasn't trying to pretend I'm a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. And then I had, um, oh, let's see, the ferret fat pack for weight loss. That's right. The duck diabetes pack, if I remember. The duck diabetes formula, right. That was all happening because I already knew the cause, prevention, and cure of those diseases because let's just, let's just take type 2 diabetes. Very devastating disease. But guess what? Dave, type 2 diabetes is not a genetic thing. Even if you have five generations in your family with type 2 diabetes, it's a simple nutritional deficiency. There are several factors here. Uh, you can have all the nutrients necessary to prevent and reverse type 2 diabetes in your food because it's in the soil in which they're grown. But if you can't absorb it, then it doesn't matter because it's all going in the toilet. And so there's two pieces to this. Not only do you have to take in the 90, and for diabetes, you know, we call it the healthy blood sugar pack now for people, but um, you also have to eliminate the foods that disrupt uh, absorption. And these are the okay. bad foods, right? You have, you have a good foods and a bad foods list. Is this a good time to go through the bad foods? Yeah, let's go through the bad foods. Okay. Okay, well, let's talk about absorption first because that's paramount. Because you are not what you eat, you are what you absorb. You are not what you eat, you are what you absorb. And so absorption is impacted the most severely by gluten. Okay, which is a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, and oats, European grains. I have to appreciate that Asians who eat rice and sweet potatoes and soybeans and vegetables don't get our diseases. 
it's not a genetic difference between Asians and us. It's a difference between they get about 100% absorption because their intestines are not damaged, and Europeans eating oatmeal for breakfast and cornflakes and Wheaties for breakfast, that kind of stuff, bagels for breakfast, pancakes, waffles. They're all getting gluten, rye whiskey, beer made from wheat. Even, even the beer and the wine in Asia is made from rice. So they're not getting any gluten at all until they come here. Then they get our diseases. Europeans who live in Asia who eat like the Asians don't get European diseases because it's the absorption thing. So you have to give up. If you want to maximize your absorption, you have to give up wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Now, one of the uh, misadventures is the, the gluten in oats is called gliadin. And people say, well, there's no oats in here. Excuse me, there's, there's no gluten in the oats. Well, it's just, you know, a bullet by another name is still going to kill you. I don't care if you call it a, a projectile. It's still going to kill you if you shoot yourself in the head with a projectile, right? The, you don't have to call it a bullet. Same way with gluten. If you call it gliadin, it doesn't matter. It's still gluten. And so no wheat, no barley, no rye, no oats in any form. You can't have a cheat meal per month. You cannot have a cheat meal per day. No, no, no. It's got to be your life. has got to be drop dead gluten free. Then the 90 essential nutrients, which is the core of everything. And we have, we have nutritional programs, Dave, for over 900 different diseases. Holy cow. Now, these are some of the things I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to overwhelm people, but some of the things mm -hmm. I want to talk about with you, Dr. Wallach, are the Healthy Start Pack, the mm -hmm. Digestion Pack, Bone and Joint Pack, the Brain and Heart mm -hmm. Pack, Blood Sugar Pack, mm -hmm. Weight Loss Pack, Arthrodex. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got something for everything. Um, so, again, I just want people to listen up, and we're going to explain how these things can help. So we talked about digestion, optimizing your digestion, right? That's mm -hmm. to cut out the bad yes. foods. That's wheat, gluten, barley, rye, oats. That's uh, correct. In all, in all their forms, there are no such things as good wheat, barley, rye, or oats. Sugar and oil somehow mix into this? Okay. Sugar is bad. Uh, a thimble full of sugar a month is probably okay. But a thimble full of sugar every day is bad. Um, it, it requires a lot of nutrients to properly consume the sugar and use it properly so you don't cause problems. And then oil. Oh, yeah. Oil is a big one. Uh, oil, when you, when you either heat oils or leave it oxidized at room temperature, uh, they turn into trans fats, heterocycamines, and acrylamides, and they are the cause of cancer. They are the cause of many degenerative diseases. They contribute to things like um, Parkinson's disease, MS, Lou Gehrig's disease, Huntington's diseases. They contribute to dementias. They also cause plaque in your arteries. Plaque in the arteries is not caused by cholesterol. Cholesterol does not cause heart disease. It's caused by deficiencies of nutrients, which we can get into in a second. Mm -hmm. There are certain nutrients. If you're deficient, you could just die suddenly because you're missing that one nutrient. Uh, young athletes do that all the time. They're missing that one nutrient. When it comes to um, things like a plaque in your arteries, it's not cholesterol. It's either oxidized oils held at room temperatures or heated oils cooking. Let's go back to the days of Crisco. I don't know if you're old enough to remember Crisco. Crisco started out in 1901 as a synthetic smokeless diesel engine lubricant for German submarines. After the First World War was over, uh, they were allowed to sell it, but they couldn't sell it as a fuel for military weapons like submarines, but they could sell it for soap. So they began to sell this product uh, as soap, but everybody's making their own soap in the 1920s and 30s, so they couldn't sell it. And so they sold it to Procter & Gamble. They said, well, well, we make good soap, and they couldn't sell it as soap either. So they decided to convert it into a cooking shardening called Crisco, both the solid and the liquid. Now, you have to appreciate, and here it comes, and most people don't realize this, but Crisco, both in the solid state and the liquid state, is made from cottonseed oil. Bad. Bad, because just even at room temperature, it oxidizes and turns into trans fats, heterocycamines, acrylamides. But you're going to deep fry in Crisco? You're going to bake in Crisco? Well, guess what? The plaque in the artery started and skyrocketed. It had never hardly occurred at all. It was never an issue until Crisco came along. And doctors demonized, particularly one guy, Ansel Keys, who's the head of the Department of Medicine there at the uh, University of Minnesota in Minneapolis. He demonized cholesterol so he could sell Crisco to get grants for the American Heart Association from Procter & Gamble. He was on the board of Procter & Gamble. He was on the board of the American Heart Association, and he got Procter & Gamble to give the American Heart Association $1.7 million to demonize cholesterol and promote Crisco. 
What are some of the other links between the uh, the rise of cholesterol levels, diseases of the brain? Cholesterol is your best friend. Cholesterol is your best friend. 95% of the weight of hormones, such as testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, adrenal hormones, is cholesterol. So if you go on a cholesterol-restricted diet and take a statin drug, you're going to be a Viagra man. I don't okay? want to be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then also... Women go through menopause when they're in their 20s, when they when they go, you know, starting to restrict cholesterol and they're eating egg beaters instead of eggs and they're eating margarine instead of butter and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're taking statin drugs. And then people, they get adrenal exhaustion, which turns out to be a, a process by which people get all kinds of, um, oh, they go into strokes and things like that because... They cannot make the adrenal hormones, and, and so they really have a huge problem here. And, of course, they gain weight and all that kind of stuff. And now, what, what do the adrenal hormones do? Well, adrenal hormones allow you to respond to danger, to respond uh -huh. to emergencies. The whole idea was to get rid of cholesterol to prevent plaque in your arteries and heart attacks. Well, that was just the false directive to get you to give up cholesterol so you could uh, – things like butter and lard and cream and eggs, so you would use Crisco. They demonized cholesterol to convert you to, to Crisco. It was a sales ploy. There was never any truth to anything they said. There was never any truth to anything they said. And, and what, Still it, what is the price that we have paid for that uh, bad advice or that misguided advice? What is the price? Well, the, number one killer, the number one killer of Americans is heart disease. Plaque in the arteries, heart transplants, bypass surgeries, stents, 50 different prescription drugs for artery disease and heart disease, all of which is really just caused by using oils for cooking and oils for salad dressings to avoid cholesterol. The oil includes olive oil, coconut oil, yes, peanut, peanut MCT oil. MCT oil. Um, Every oil you can name, if it has the word O-I-L after it, it's bad. All right, so that's going to cover that. That's the bad foods list. Stay away from those foods. Again, Doc just told you why. We covered digestion as well, how to improve your digestion. If we're moving too fast for you or you would like some printed material, I would like to encourage you to check out Dr. Wallach's website, drjwallach.com. That's drjwallach.com, and you spell Wallach. W-A-L-L-A-C-H, drjwallach.com, or you can call 1-800-755-4656. You can buy his books, DVDs, CDs, all that stuff there. drjwallach.com, 1-800-755-4656. All right, Doc, here we go. Let's, let's keep moving. Next up, I want to talk about the Healthy Start Pack. Yeah, the Healthy Start Pack, you know, it has three products in it has Beyond Tan Tangerine 2.0 crystals. You have to appreciate crystals. There is a BTT 2.0 tablet. They should have given it a different name. Uh, the tablets are an antioxidant only. They don't have all the vitamins and minerals in it. So you have to stick with the, either the powder and the canister, the liquid, or the individual, i call them sticks or little uh, tubes that have, uh, there's 30 in a box that have the BTT 2.0 powder in it. Okay, it actually has 248 nutrients in it, including 87 of the 90 essential nutrients. The, the other three are found in the ultimate EFAs, the EFA pluses, okay? Now, these are very, very interesting because they're packed in nitrogen, so they don't oxidize. You're not going to cook in them, so they're not heated, okay? They're packed in nitrogen in soft gel capsules, and I take about nine of those a day. Uh, of the EFAs and nine of the EFA pluses. Mm -hmm. The EFAs are from seeds. Okay, they're they're an omega three from seeds, an essential nutrient. And then the EFA pluses are from fish oils. So we take care of vegetarians as well. And so I take nine of each a day, three of, of each three times a day. The Healthy Star Pack by itself contains the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Beyond Osteo FX and EFA Plus. Let's talk about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. What makes this so special, Doc? I've never seen anything like this. This is this is the stuff. If you've never tried it, this stuff is amazing. But why? Yeah, you're you're exactly right, Dave. Because number one, it has 248 nutrients. It has 87 of the 90 essential nutrients in it. When you look at some of the top 
vitamin and mineral products on the market. They've been around a long time. I'm not going to give their names, but you know them. They've been around a long time. And, you know, they have sales every year at the drugstores and this, that, and the other. Say, complete nutrition contains 27 nutrients. Well, uh, that's not even a third of the 90. You've done research oh. that shows this is what we need. We need 90 essential nutrients, not 27, Dave, not 58. Dave, that's for my thesis on my 20,000 autopsy sells for $30,000. <laughs> Beyond OsteoFX, now this is the bone strengthening formula. This is also a part of the Healthy Start Pack. What is, that's, that's, that's correct. What's special about the OsteoFX, Beyond OsteoFX? Okay, okay. Beyond OsteoFX, and most people, for instance, if you go to a doctor and he examines you and takes x-rays or MRIs and stuff, say, you know, the reason why your joints are clicking and popping and you're kind of sore when you walk, you have osteoporosis. Go get you some calcium. Take some Tums. There'll be some calcium in there. Well, that doctor should be put in jail. Because your bones contain all 90 essential nutrients, not just calcium. Okay, it, it, calcium won't be incorporated in your bones without the other 89 nutrients. People ask me, <laughs> what, what is it about calcium? What are the cofactors that make calcium um, more absorbable by your body? What are the cofactors that go on? There's two things. You get, you know, two things you got to deal with. Number one, you have to appreciate you got to absorb it, right? So you got to get rid of gluten, no wheat, bread, or rye, and oats to maximize absorption of calcium. But then you also need the other 89 nutrients, which would be 59 other minerals, and then all the vitamins, amino acids, and fatty acids. Now, if I remember, Doc, um, OsteoFX can also help reduce inflammation in your uh, intestinal lining, right, in the villi, which can help with the absorption. Well, yeah, because minerals have a quieting effect on inflammation, and of course, they're required. You think, well, my small intestines aren't bones. Why do they eat minerals? Well, muscles are made up out of minerals. There's smooth muscles. The small intestines make food move along and they squeeze the food. And then also the connective tissue, sort of like the rebar in your intestines and all other organs in your body are made from about six different minerals. You're not just made from jelly, okay? And so we need to make sure you're taking all 90 for every one of your tissues in your body, whether it's your liver, your heart, your lungs, your brain, your bones, your muscle, your tendons, your ligaments, your connective tissue, uh, your stomach, your kidneys, um, your urinary bladder, your gallbladder. Everything requires the, your nerves, requires these nutrients. Now, we were talking about, you You mentioned the, the bladder and the eyes. All these are soft tissue, which we also address with the Healthy Start Pack, which, again, includes the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Beyond Osteo FX, and the third item, which is the Ultimate EFA Plus. That mm -hmm. is good for soft tissue, correct? It's good for hard tissue and soft tissue. Absolutely. It's good for everything. All tissues require omega-3s. They're essential nutrients for all tissues. The EFAs and EFA Pluses are required for... The myelin, which is that insulating sheath, okay, makes up 75% of your brain weight is the white matter of the brain, which is the insulation material. Mm. Only 25% of the brain is the actual nerve fibers and nerve cells themselves. This myelin that makes up 75% of your brain weight is cholesterol. Well, guess what? If you take these cholesterol-reducing drugs, you are going to get Alzheimer's disease as sure as there is gravity. Okay, so we just wrapped up the Healthy Start Pack. That includes the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Beyond OsteoFX, and your EFA Plus. All 90 essential nutrients and then some are in the Healthy Start Pack. Let's move on to the Healthy Digestion, Doc. Now, that includes everything that the Healthy Start Pack does, but it also includes Flora FX and enzymes. What is it about mm -hmm. Flora FX and enzymes that help with the digestive system? Sure. Well, the Flora FX are the normal bacteria found in our intestinal tract. Intestinal tract is a perfect area for maximizing every, every chemical reaction that goes on in the intestines. So you need proper environment, pH. You need proper movement of the food. And so this is what the bacteria, the normal bacteria do. They're, they're part of the system. You know, you look at a cow, they got four stomachs. Um, one stomach, called the rumen, R-U-M-E-N, is like a 55-gallon drum full of liquid and all these probiotics, and they help digest the food. Well, the same thing is going on in your intestines with our probiotics. They help digest the food. They help move the food along. Uh, they produce certain enzymes, which make it a good environment for the enzymes in your intestines, uh, keep it in the right pH, sort of like a neutral pH in your intestines as opposed to acid or alkaline. And then the 
enzymes, as the name implies, digest things. And so you want to digest proteins to amino acids. You want to digest carbohydrates to uh, either sugars or uh, short uh, little three um, amino acid chains of sugar, which are easily absorbed. And then, of course, you want to absorb, uh, you want to digest big fats down to fatty acids, which then we can use the fatty acids to build whatever we want to build in our bodies. So we're getting everything down to its basic unit. In other words, we're tearing the house down to make bricks out of it. And then we use the bricks to make a garage. Well, the same thing is true. We eat food. We chew up the meat. We cut it up. We cook it. uh, We chop it up with our teeth. We get it down into our stomach and acid begins to work on it in our stomach break more of the connective tissue down. It gets into the small intestines. The probiotics work on it. The enzymes work on it and get it down to the amino acids, which are the individual protein units that make up the fatty acids or the proteins. And then as we get them into our bloodstream, they go to the various tissues around our body, which then take it out of the bloodstream and make the heart cells, the liver cells, the muscle cells, the bone cells, and so forth from these individual amino acids uh, or fatty acids. What are some of the most common ailments that can be addressed with the digestion pack? What are some of the most recommended uses for the digestion pack? Sure. Okay. Well, the digestion pack, of course, again, you have to teach people to stay away from the gluten, right? It maximizes absorption. And you say, look, every, there's everything going on in your stomach and your intestines. It has to do with pH and enzymes and that sort of stuff. And so we need to um, avoid all the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, you know, with all the chemicals in them. Things like, um, oh, bacon and ham and bologna and salami and pastrami and pepperoni and jerky and corned beef and spam, uh, those kind of things all have to go. You might uh, keep a little bit of something in your cupboard in case the electricity goes out for a month. So you can, you know, eat one meal a month of these these processed meats. But you don't want to be having bacon bits in your salad and bacon with your breakfast. Uh, You don't want to be having bologna sandwiches for lunch. Mm. Can't have that. You can't have sausage for breakfast and all that kind of stuff. You just can't have it uh, if you want to live a maximum lifespan. You know, we, uh, human beings have the capacity to live well beyond 200. The reason why our average lifespan is only 75 is because so many people die in their 30s, 40s, and 50s because they're doing all the bad stuff. And so we have to get rid of the bad stuff to all the good stuff to maximize our health and maximize our performance or function and uh, longevity. You know, I don't want to get too far off topic, but you're talking about survival food. Longevity also has survival food, so let's not forget about that. That's one of the things you can order uh, when you do become a distributor or a customer, correct? That's correct. We we have all kinds of survival foods. And, of course, we in our household keep our survival packs, which are backpacks. And we have uh, each one of us has a backpack with a month's supply of these uh, survival foods, which is everything from our chocolate. It's called triple treat chocolate, and it's got antioxidants in it. It's got some calcium in it, and it's got a little bit of energy in there. And, of course, then we have our rebound, our sports drink, which has 100 nutrients in it. Our sports drink has 100 nutrients in it. All the other sports drink and energy drinks on the market are primarily sugar and caffeine. Some of them will have two nutrients. Some have five. Some have six, and that's it. Ours is the only one with 100 nutrients in it. And they used to be in eight-ounce cans, and people were going crazy. say, well, I have to drink two of them because I weigh 200 pounds twice a day. So we came up with the 12-ounce cans of the Rebound now, still 100 nutrients. And I try to drink, I only weigh 142, but I try to drink two of those a day along with everything else. And that makes sure that I'm getting everything I need for maximum performance of maintaining and rebuilding the cells that are dying from natural death. And then if I have any injuries or problems, I'm invaded by bugs and flu and and so forth, uh, my immune system jumps up and takes care of it. Your immune system requires all these nutrients. We're here with Dr. Wallach. We've been talking longevity. We're going to keep talking longevity. Uh, let's talk about the bone and joint pack. Who needs it? This is the, for people who are not familiar, this is the Healthy Start Pack plus the Glucogel and CM Cream. Who needs the bone and joint pack? What does it address? Well, as the name implies, bone and joint pack, uh, this is what I like people to use if money's not an object because it costs another I don't know, 15 bucks a month or something like that over the Healthy Start Pack. But for instance, if you're working in a factory, you're working in a warehouse, you're a truck driver, you're a farmer, uh, you're exercising, you're working out at home, you're working out in a gym, you play on the company's um, softball team or bowling team, you want to be taking the Healthy Bone and Joint Pack because if you're putting more pressure on your joints, 
you want to have that extra material so your cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, and bone matrix can maintain themselves. But I would also throw in, if you're doing those kind of things, I would also throw in the MSM, which is a product. It's a fairly large bottle, so you take per 100 pounds of body weight, you take three of those twice a day. And there are the specific raw materials required to maintain cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae. And that, that prevents this common shrinking that people go through as they get older. You start shrinking, get herbs palsy, which is sort of like a, a sciatica of your arms and shoulders and wrists and elbows and things. And of course, you get the shrinking of your disc down in your lower back and you get sciatica. All that's preventable. If you have that, you take the healthy bone and joint pack, you throw in the MSM, three of those twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight, and you throw in our vitamin D3, not D2, but vitamin D3 capsules, three of those twice a day. We also have a spray, it's called Citrus D3 spray. So it's three spritzes of the spray twice a day or three of the capsules twice a day. That's gonna maximize the absorption and placement of calcium and associated minerals for bones and joints and disc and all that kind of stuff. Okay, now this this is uh, before somebody gets an injury, but what if somebody uh, has sustained an injury because they're the weekend warrior, they've gone out, um, they've got a bad knee, they've already passed that point, Doc. It's not about maintenance anymore, it's about repairing, it's about rebuilding. Um, what 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 should they take? They would use the same program, the same healthy bone and joint pack, the uh, MSM, the vitamin D3, and in the healthy bone and joint pack, you also get, as you pointed out, the CM cream, which is a topical pain reliever. It'll it'll give you a pretty good pain relief for about you know, two three hours. You can put it on two three times a day. And if you don't need a you know a cast, for instance, if you don't need a, a pin because you've broken your femur and the bone's sticking out of your thigh, kind of stuff, where you really need some uh, emergency room and medical attention. But if you say, oh man, my knees have been aching since you know last night's bowling game. Instead of taking uh, three of those glucogel capsules twice a day, take three three times a day. Take another dose. And again, the, the um, vitamin D3, I would throw in nine of those a day instead of six a day. And I would also throw in nine of the MSM a day instead of three a day. And that's going to give your body, your stem cells, what it needs to repair itself. Your body has the capacity to repair itself as well as maintain itself, but it requires these nutrients. And if you're eating food that doesn't have it in there, you're just getting calories. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting, Dave. When you're missing these nutrients, people have cravings. And animals is called pica, P-I-C-A. Mm -hmm. uh, in babies, they would chew on their cribs. That's why they put that um, fiberglass sheath on the crib rail. So babies won't crib. They call it cribbing. Horses do the same thing. When they're missing the same minerals in their food, they'll eat the barn. The bone and joint pack is my favorite pack by far. Man, I, I can't tell you how many people have been helped by the glucogel and everything else that's in there. It is amazing stuff. So anybody who's listening to this right now, I, I urge you, if you do have aches and pains, if you're hearing creaks and clicks, you have to try this. It will change your life. It is absolutely amazing, Dr. Wallach. You did a great job building these packages. Fantastic. Well, job. thank you. Thank you. Well, we have a new book coming out here pretty soon. And uh, it's called It's All in Your Head because people forget, Dave, you get osteoporosis of the skull just like you do your leg bones and your vertebrae and your pelvis and your arm bones and neck bones and so forth. You get osteoporosis of the skull too. There's 25 different diseases you get from osteoporosis of the skull because of all the uh, cranial nerves. There's 12 pairs of cranial nerves and your spinal cord. Most people, Dave, think your spinal cord only is in your lower back. Your spinal cord is formed in the brain comes out through a big hole in the back of the skull, down your neck, down all the way down your tailbone. When you get osteoporosis of the skull, you can have things going on in your wrist and your doctor says, oh, you have carpal tunnel syndrome. No, you have osteoporosis of the skull squeezing your spinal cord and causing that pain and numbness in your wrist. You got to try the healthy bone and joint pack. Anybody you out there it. who's listening, it, it is just uh, hands down um, one of my favorites. You won't regret it. It'll, it's worth every penny. Let's move on to the blood sugar pack. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's move on to the brain. Oh, we did. Did we cover the brain and heart pack? I don't think so. Maybe I need that. The brain and heart pack <laughs> has the uh, has the healthy start pack plus its secret ingredient, which is an extra mega dose of EFAs and selenium. Who needs the healthy brain and heart pack, and what does it address? Uh, anybody who has a heart or a brain requires a healthy brain and heart pack, okay? Because you need th these nutrients just for maintenance, right? You got to give these nutrients to your stem cells so they can maintain your heart and your brain. And uh, I recommend that an average size adult, 130 to 150 pounds, they need to eat 
uh, three eggs three times a day with soft yolks, along with a healthy brain and heart pack. Every year, Dave, this, this actually brings tears to my eyes every time I bring this up. Every year in America, we have 25,000 kids under the age of 20 who drop dead suddenly, what's called you know, the sudden hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart attacks. These are top players. I mean, these are kids who are perfect health. They just had a physical exam. The school you know, physician, because they're going to play basketball or football or wrestle or soccer or whatever it is. And the guy just got the winning shot and they're lifting him up. He's on the shoulders of his teammates. And he drops dead of a heart attack. And it's not from cholesterol. It's not from eating too many eggs. It's from a deficiency of that one mineral. Now, here's the deal. There are so many diseases that are caused by a deficiency of that one mineral. The most dramatic, of course, is that sudden heart death in these young kids. But also, it's very dramatic in the embryo. It can cause cystic fibrosis if you're deficient in that mineral. So women who are in the childbearing years need the healthy brain and heart pack to make sure they don't have a baby born with cystic fibrosis. But remember, they got to give up the gluten so they can absorb it. Also, they showed that you could prevent and reverse muscular dystrophy. I don't care if you've had it for 31 years, you could reverse it. How did you find all this out, Dr. Wallach? It turns out they did 1,700 autopsies on kids under the age of 10, published in three languages. The English version is in the Journal of Trace Element Research. 1,700 autopsies, Dave, of kids under the age of 10 that have died of this deficiency, mm -hmm. published in three languages. Nobody has even come close to that. Now, 200 of those 1,700 died under the age of one year of age, and they would have been diagnosed with sudden infant death syndrome, crib death here in America. So I put it all together. We sued in federal court, and they actually gave us a win in federal court forcing the manufacturers of baby formula to put that one nutrient in the baby formula. I'd made a mistake for many, many years saying you need all 60 of these minerals in baby formulas, and the federal courts would just throw up their hands and say, well, there's not enough proof for all 60. Well, this one was so outrageous. They said, just, let's just do the one. So they couldn't deny the results of 1,700 autopsies. So they gave us a win. And they forced the manufacturers of uh, baby formulas to put this one nutrient. Now, here's what happened six months later. Six months later, in the Charlotte Observer, which is the big newspaper in Charlotte, North Carolina, kind of like the New York Times in New York, headlines as big as Third World War started, bold, big block letters, front page, Charlotte Observer, 2014, they came out and said, we don't know why, but sudden infant death syndrome has vanished from the state of North Carolina. Three months later, the state of Missouri said the same thing. Three months later, every state came out and said, we don't know why, but the rate of crib death, sudden infant death syndrome, has dropped by 85 to 95% in our state. That's because we forced them to put that nutrient in baby pharma and prevent that sudden heart death in babies. And that is, that's all in the healthy brain and heart pack. And heart pack. That is correct. And, and, and so, so people say, well, why don't you tell us? Tell us which one it is. Tell us which one it is. And then they go out and they run and they buy it, but they leave out the other 89. Right. Uh, so you say you got to take the whole package. Right. And so that's why we put the healthy brain and heart pack together so they get the whole package. I mean, we've pretty much, you know, just think about it. I get breathless every time I think about this, Dave. We have all but eliminated sentiment death syndrome in America. You have not heard about it in the last five years because we've eliminated it. Before I move on to uh, to something else, is it possible for the, the mother to take uh, good nutrition and to pass on that nutrition to the baby? I mean, how, how early does the nutrition have to start? I would say three to six months before the pregnancy, and you got to optimize absorption. So the mother, in addition to taking the 90 essential nutrients, also has to get rid of the gluten. Remember, Dave, there are no genetically transmitted birth defects. There are no genetically transmitted birth defects. You know, there are birth defects that are caused, for instance, by prescription drugs, thalidomide, which was a, a drug prescribed to women, pregnant women for morning sickness, during pregnancies. There was like 10,000 American babies born without arms and legs because of that drug. There's babies born with all kinds of things, like, again, cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, because of a deficiency of a single nutrient. Doctors blamed it on genetics. No, but just a simple nutritional deficiency. The clue was sudden infant death syndrome never occurred in babies who were breastfed. Sudden infant death syndrome only occurred in babies who were bottle fed. This is all part of the healthy brain and heart pack. And I want to remind listeners, Dr. Wallach, part of the genius behind what you've done is that they these kits are cost effective. So, yes, you could go and hunt for this mineral and that mineral, but it's all right here. It's, it's convenient. It's easy. It's the full spectrum. 
and it's economical. You don't have to go and spend $1,000 per month hunting this stuff down. It's all right there. It's easy, convenient, and economical. Those three things make this just genius. Well, thank you. And, of course, it goes by body weight. But as I say, a 150-pound person, uh, if you just get the healthy start pack, 150-pound person, and you take two per month, it's going to cost you six bucks a day. That's cheaper than a cup of exotic coffee. And it's worth every penny. I mean, I, I, I've seen it for myself, Dr. Wallach. Hundreds of people I talk to, hundreds of them that have been helped by the Healthy Bone and Joint Pack. Yeah, just and, and we appreciate you. And we appreciate all you do because just magnify what you see by what I see because I see over a million a month. Yeah, I can imagine. It, it's fantastic, man. It's, it's got to feel good, Doc. It's got to feel good to do that. Does it feel good? Oh, absolutely. I mean, and, and, and there's no amount of money that would make you feel this good, Yeah. okay? To be able to walk down the street and see all these healthy babies, to see all these healthy kids, to see a field full of healthy young athletes, to see grandma turning 112. Well, you must have good genes in your family. Your grandma just turned 112. No, she's been taking the healthy start pack for 40 years. Has it been around that long? Has longevity been? You, you've uh, been oh, long? yeah. 50, I've been doing this for 50 years, Dave. Holy mackerel. Holy smokes. I'm 80. Yeah, most people think I'm 50 when they look at me because I look like I'm 50. I have the strength, speed, and agility. And, of course, my voice doesn't sound like I'm um, a uh, run-down 80-year-old person, you know, with 18 diseases. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> All right, let's let, let's move on. Let's talk about the blood sugar pack, Dr. Wallach. Uh, who needs it? What is it addressed? Now, uh, let me remind people that all these packs start off with the Healthy Start Pack. The Blood Sugar Pack has the extra ingredient of Sweeties. Now, again, who needs it and what does it address? Okay, well, again, what makes the Healthy Blood Sugar Pack, the Healthy Blood Sugar Pack, is the Healthy Start Pack. And then we add what we call the Sweeties to it. Um, type 2 diabetes, which makes up 98% of the diabetic population, is a deficiency of one or two nutrients. If you're deficient in those two, you need to take those two. If you're deficient in just the one, you need to take the one. And so if you take all 90, we came up with a secret sauce we call the Sweeties. You add that to the Healthy Start Pack. We call it the Healthy Blood Sugar Pack. And there's people, because they don't absorb because they're eating whole wheat bread for breakfast along with their wheaty cereal, or they're drinking beer in the afternoon made out of wheat, and some breakfasts will have pancakes and waffles, and at night they're going to have spaghetti or mac and cheese, gluten, 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 gluten. So they're not absorbing anything. And they have all these health problems because uh, of the absorption problems. So it's imperative uh, that you, you pay attention because these are the people who are going to have 8, 12, 20, 30 different diseases. You know people like that, Dave. Oh, yeah. They've got high blood pressure. they got diabetes. they got arthritis. And they got gallbladder issues. they got uh, congestive heart failure. they got asthma. they got dental problems. they got cataracts. they got ringing in their ears. Um, they're shrinking. They have sciatica. They have constipation. They have irritable bowel syndrome. All those are nutritional deficiency diseases caused by gluten and the lack of the nutrients. Well, let me let me give you some information here. Uh, have you ever heard of the Pima Indians? Uh, no, doesn't sound familiar. Okay, yeah, the Pima Indians. Um, I think two thirds of their population lives in Mexico, the northern provinces of Mexico. One third live in Arizona, primarily around Parker, Arizona. The Pima Indians in Mexico have the lowest rate of type 2 diabetes in the world. The Pima Indians, same genetics as the one in Mexico, have the highest rate of type 2 diabetes in the world. The ones in Mexico are less than 6%. The ones in Parker, Arizona are more than 46%. So we're working with the ones in, in Parker, Arizona. And in two months, we're going to be there, have big issues in meetings. We will eliminate type 2 diabetes in the Pima Indians in Parker, Arizona, which has the highest rate of type 2 diabetes in the world. We'll eliminate it. We take people, we take people, Dave, who've been a, a brittle, I mean brittle, bad shape type 2 diabetic for 30 years. In 30 days on the healthy blood sugar pack, get rid of the gluten so they can absorb everything. And guess what? They're not a diabetic after 30 days. Now, if somebody wanted to start a business, you can really, really change a lot of lives and yours included financially while helping people. This could be your uh, target audience. It, it takes thinking like that. You know, when you think things like that and you become a distributor, that's what allows you to to blossom and to really become successful. Yeah, so helping people. Exactly. Basically, what you do is you um, have like a meeting every Tuesday night or Thursday night in some places cheap. And, you know, there's some of these restaurants 
uh, they'll give you a free meeting room if everybody there buys a cup of coffee and mm -hmm. or a cup of ice cream or something, right? Mm -hmm. Or you put in a little ad in the newspaper. Hey, diabetics, if you want to reduce your blood sugar without five more drugs, you want to um, maybe even eliminate your medication and be uh, an ex-diabetic, come to our free meeting at such and such time, such and such location. Another way you could do it is through social media, and when you become a distributor, Longevity gives you access to all kinds of banners and all kinds of cool things that you can use on social media that can really help draw people to your oh. meetings. Oh, absolutely. And that's another thing I should mention, too, since we're talking about uh, opening your own business. When you do become a distributor, you get your own replicated website, which allows you to, to uh, gives you your own back office. You can keep track of orders, commissions. Again, you can download all kinds of forms. It's a great resource, Dr. Wallach. This is a great program. Well, yeah, we provide a lot, but even I think probably the most exciting piece of the whole thing is when you're helping somebody with their diabetes, they as the customer are going to pay wholesale for the product. You're not going to bill them for your time and information. I pay you for teaching them. They buy the healthy blood sugar pack. I pay you for your time and educating them. They do not pay you because a lot of people say, I don't know. I don't want to get into billing people and asking them for money and all that kind of stuff. And I, I just don't want to go there. You don't have to. You just put in the order, send it into Longevity. We ship the product, and I pay you your commission. You don't have to even ask the person to pay you for your time because I pay you for your time. And sometimes you don't even need to fill out the order. You just send them to your website, and bang, they do all the work. And you just send me a check, Doc. I love it. You're great. You're a great person. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to the Healthy Weight Loss Pack. Again, this is the Healthy Start Pack plus the Rev. Does it have anything else other than, other than the Rev? Uh, the Healthy Weight Loss Pack has the Rev in it, uh -huh. okay, and which, as the name implies, ramps up your metabolism. But then there's one other piece you have to throw in there. It's uh, called the Keto Caramel Shake or the Keto Caramel Meal Bar. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a rush and you're on the road, you can just take a meal bar with you. I can't eat more than a half one. I mean, a half of one of those bars just fills you up. And then, of course, the shake, as the name implies, it takes a little bit of preparation with water and, you know, whip it up and so forth and so it needs a little more time but two or three meals a day two or three meals a day would be a keto caramel meal either the bar or the shake not both at the same meal two or three meals it doesn't matter you can rotate the meals it doesn't have to be the same meals every day mm -hmm. and then you take one of the healthy weight loss packs per 100 pounds of body weight which includes the rev which ramps up your metabolism and you'll lose a half a pound or two pounds a day now, Dave, this never fails. You will lose a half a pound or two pounds a day, and I'm the one who gets the 500-pound people, the 600-pound people, the 700-pound people, and I get them. They're 500 pounds, and in seven months' time, they're 165 pounds. They've tried every weight loss thing. They've done all the surgery. Nothing helps them until they get on the healthy weight loss pack, the keto caramel meals two or three times a day, and they'll lose two or more pounds a day. And in seven months' time, they're down to 165 pounds out of 500 pounds. Is it because they crave less once the minerals are in there? What is it about the minerals that help people with their weight loss? That's part of it. That's absolutely part of it. But also, I think the craving is a big piece of it. When people are overweight, they say, I mean, I don't know why I'm so overweight. I only eat one meal a day. Well, what do you eat in that meal? Well, I have a loaf of bread and a couple of those packages of salami or mac and cheese, which, of course, has gluten in it, right? Well, if I'm not absorbing, how come I'm gaining so much weight? Well, that's because calories are tiny little molecules which are easy to absorb. Nutrients tend to be big. For instance, um, a sugar molecule has maybe three carbon compounds, three carbon molecules in it. On the other hand, when you look at a healthy fat like omega-3, has 32 carbons in it. Very difficult to absorb when you have damage to your intestines from gluten. So you can still absorb calories when you have a gluten problem, but you can't absorb nutrients. That's the problem. You cut out the gluten, you begin to lose weight just by cutting out the gluten. Well, let me throw one more piece out there. Sure. Now let's, let's say somebody's really in trouble. They've got 14 diseases, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, glaucoma. Um, they've got, they're on kidney dialysis. I mean, these are people who are in trouble. They get on a gluten-free diet and, and say, I can't afford all those secret sauces. It's going to cost me 20 bucks a day. Okay, well, here's what you do. You take the two most life-threatening ones. Let's take the kidney dialysis and your diabetes. Everything else, 
will be dealt with by the the basic healthy start pack. And then you put in the secret sauces for the kidney dialysis and the high blood pressure or the diabetes. That way it's only going to cost you about six or seven bucks a day, which like I said, is still cheaper than a cup of the expensive coffee. If you were to buy all the secret sauces for your 17 diseases, it might cost you 20 bucks a day. But just go for the ones that are most life-threatening, the most life-restricting, and all the others will be begun to be dealt with when you get on a gluten-free diet and also the nutrients that are in the basic program. I, I remember you doing an experiment with uh, vision, right? People who had bad vision. Now, this is one of the most requested stories I get. People always ask me, can you tell me about Dr. Wallach's uh, vision experiment where he helped so many people regain their sight? Or yes. you know, Tell them this story. Sure. Well, I was giving a lecture. It was in Salt Lake City, Utah. I was giving a lecture. And the Q&A at the end, the question and answer period at the end, the first question, the guy sitting in the front row, he says, what can you do for macular regeneration? Well, like somebody who's been blind six, eight, ten years. I said, I can reverse that. Well, the guy in the back of the room jumps up and says, Wallach, you're a liar. He put the he put the GD in front of it. You're a liar, Wallach. I said, really, who are you? He says, well, I'm a, a medical doctor, eye surgeon, and macular regeneration has to do with age, and you can't prevent it, and there's no way you can fix it. I said, well, let's have a little wager here. He says, okay. I said, if you're an eye doctor, you pick 12 of your patients you've diagnosed with macular degeneration. They've been legally blind six, eight, 10 years. If I could get half of them, if I could get six of them to read 20, 20 in 90 days, just on my supplement program, would you apologize in public, buy me a, a big steak dinner and get me a, a bottle of my most favorite red wine? He says, you're on. The next day he brings me 27 charts of people who've been legally blind that he diagnosed with macular degeneration you're legally blind, six, eight, ten years. He says, pick your 12. I said, why just pick 12? You got 27 of them here. Let's go for all of them. He said, oh, okay. Let's do that. He says, I'll even make it easier. If you can get one of them, if you can get one of them to read 20, 20, and 90 days, I'll pay for everybody's supplements and apologize in public. Buy that steak dinner and give you the bottle of wine. I said, you're on. Well, to make a long story short, in 90 days, 25 of the 27 25 to 27 could read 2020. It took two weeks for the other two. And he bought me the dinner, gave me the bottle of red wine, and apologized in public to a huge crowd. So uh, do you want to tell us what it was exactly that you gave these people? What, what was it that uh, that turned their lives around, that, that gave them back their sight? What was it that you gave them? Yes, yeah, it's the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. You know, the, get rid of the bad food. So it's good. the good food, bad food situation. The Healthy Brain and Heart Pack throw in some antioxidants to help um, uh, deal with the plaque in, in the arteries of the brain, the plaque in the eyes and all that kind of stuff. There, there are several different antioxidants you could use, which you, one would be the BTT 2.0 tablets, which are an antioxidant. Take three of those twice a day. And it's not to replace the powder, okay, but as BTT 2.0 tablets is an antioxidant. So you could take three of those twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. A another option uh, is the um, Z radical, Z like zebra dash radical. That's mm -hmm. another antioxidant. Take two doses of that. It's either liquid or powder. And um, the big one, I mean, if somebody's really in trouble and they just say, I don't care what the expense is, we have one that's called muscadine liquid grapeseed extract. Okay, it's from our nature's pearl division. It's, it comes in a quart. It's a liquid, muscadine liquid grapeseed extract. And it's a little pricey, but it is the most potent, most powerful antioxidant we have. And if money's not an object, I would go with two ounces a day per 100 pounds of body weight, an ounce of breakfast, ounce of dinner time. That's a, two quarts a day. But if finances are a problem, cut it down to one ounce a day. And if you can't afford that, go with the Z radical and the BTT 2.0 tablets. That's in addition to the healthy brain and heart pack. Okay. All right. Sounds good, Doc. Next up, let's talk about uh, nutrition for our four-legged friends or, I guess, two-legged friends, feathered friends, scaled friends, any of our pets. Arthrodex, Doc, is what I want to talk about next. People love their pets. What is it about Arthrodex that makes pets so happy, so healthy? What is, what's in that stuff? Okay, well, Arthrodex has everything in it of the essential 90, except for the EFAs, the omega-3s. Mm -hmm. It's vitamins, amino acids, and minerals. And um, there's one scoop for 20 pounds of body weight. We sell an enormous amount of it. It's, it's sort, sort of like the, the Healthy Start Pack for human beings. The Arthrodex is a Healthy Start Pack for animals minus the omega-3s. So you always got to tell them, add the omega-3s. Uh, I'd, I'd throw, uh, per 20 pounds of body weight, I'd throw one omega-3 in there. 
Do you mean and, just, um, just take a little fish oil capsule, one of our fish oil capsules, and mm -hmm. squeeze it? Yeah, they could do the. Yeah, they could take the EFA pluses, which are the fish oil, or the EFAs, which is from from the plant seeds, and of course that gives you the, uh, the omega three essential fatty acids, which goes along with all the vitamins, amino acids, and the minerals, which are in the Arthrodex. So there you go, Arthrodex for your four-legged friend. Take care of your pets. Make sure they live a longer, healthier life. Make sure they get all the 90 essential nutrients that they need. No other pet company out there has higher quality ingredients than the Arthrodex from Longevity. Doc, I wouldn't trust some of that stuff. Some of that stuff, you don't know what's in there. You don't know what's on that bag is true. You just don't know. It's one of those things where even dog food and cat food and monkey food and parrot food and canary food and fish food uh, depends on the, the quality, right? Some of them have a lot in there. Some of them have a modest amount. Some of them have very little. Any living being needs to have the essential nutrients. And in the case of your pets, Arthrodex is the best way to make sure that they get those essential nutrients. That is correct. Besides the EFAs. I mean, they do need the, the you, oils. You, you do have to add the EFAs. That's correct. Okay, Doc, sounds good. So be sure to add the EFAs to the Arthrodex. Make sure your pet gets all 90 essential nutrients so that they can live a longer, healthier life. Don't go anywhere else. Don't trust anyone else. Dr. Wallach has done the research. He's done over $25 million worth of research. He's dedicated his life to this, folks. Don't trust anyone else. Arthrodex is the way to go. Contact your Longevity distributor. If you don't have a distributor in your area, this could be the perfect time for you to start your own business. Doc, let's talk about starting your own home-based business. You know, one of the things that I like about working with this company is that there's not a lot of paperwork when you take an order. As a matter of fact, you can just refer somebody to your website or give them a reference number. They can call the company, place an order over the phone. You still get the credit. You still get the check sent to your house. Great business opportunity, Doc. Today, it is, it's the beginning of 2020. It costs $30 to become a distributor. Thirty dollars to start your own home-based business. Now, people and might, it's ta that's tax deductible. It's tax deductible. Yes. Now, there's a little bit more than that. If you want to make commissions, you have to qualify, and that means you have to buy a certain amount of product. Uh, either a can of tangy tangerine or a healthy start pack will qualify every you month to make. Yes, every month you want to get on auto ship, so this way you don't have to worry about that. Then you can just start referring your friends and and, uh, and other people to your website to um, call the company. Everything is taken care of for you. Starting your own business for thirty dollars, Doctor Wallach is unbelievable. People don't realize the benefits of starting your own business. It's great when you start your own business and you actually realize the tax benefits especially. This is fantastic for 30 bucks. Yeah, well the tax benefits are enormous. I mean, you think about how much money you pay in taxes. If you could recoup a third of that, 25% of that, 50% of that, all of it. I mean, that's why billionaires do what they do. Most of it is just to save themselves all that tax money. And you can do the same thing with your own $30 business. Now, here's, here's the deal. Let's say you want to start a business in Germany or Australia. If you start a business in Australia, we have warehouses there. We have an enormous business and, and, and products in Australia and New Zealand. So let's say you wanted to go there because you have a history there and you want to spend a little time there every year and meet your relatives and work with them. Well, suddenly now, that trip is a legitimate business deduction because you're going there for primarily business purposes. And it's all legitimate. You do all, you follow all the rules. And then here's another piece, Dave, you know, what do they call these uh, wholesale stores or discount stores? Some of them it cost you 85 bucks a year just to get the discounts, you know, your membership cards and you can't sell this stuff, but it costs you 65, 85, hundred bucks a year, a membership, and you can't run a business out of it. And it's not tax deductible unless that membership is owned by your longevity business. Because you do need things like paper towels and toilet paper, you know, for your office. Uh, you need um, soaps and, uh, and, you know, all kinds of stuff, sales sheets and paper and notebooks and pens and stuff. That all becomes tax deductible for your business if you're running it as a business. Your computer is a business expense, your chair, it, everything. Yeah. Yeah, and so then, then that eighty-five dollars you're paying to the discount store for membership to get the discount prices is, is tax deductible. So enormous amount of savings, enormous amount of savings and benefits to become a longevity. We call associate or representative, an associate representative. We have millions of members all over the world. We're in fifty countries. We have over five thousand products. We deal with over nine hundred different diseases. So there's bound to be of some interest somewhere to you. 
And, and you know, somebody that I like to encourage, I would like to speak to um, people who are retired. I'll put it that way. People who are retired have more time at home. They love their grandkids. Doc, you can start your own business, start a business for your grandkid under you, and just build the downline under them. Let them keep the cash. You can make something as well. But, boy, you could really set up your grandkids, your kids. Well, you your pay for their nephews. college. The, yeah. the college tuition becomes tax deductible if that's a requirement in your business plan for them to be a distributor. You know, just like big corporations, they will pay for your training. You go to school if it's for if the, if what you're studying helps their business, right? So you get the same tax benefits. Just think about it. That the tuition for your grandkids or your kids to go to college is tax deductible. Hello. Doc, I want to encourage everybody to at least take a take a look at it. But especially if you are retired, you have some extra time at home. That is, this is a perfect opportunity for you. Even if you don't need the money, even if you don't want the money, you can earn the money for your grandkids, your kids, nieces, your, your family, friends, whoever it is. You can really help out a lot of people when you become. Yeah, and we have a little book for that. It's called Wall Street for Kids. That's a great book, by the way, Doc. That's one of my favorite books that I have out in my office. There is. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah. Teach you. Yeah, teach you how to write a business plan, teach you how to get, you know, all the tax breaks, teach you how to meet all the government requirements so that everything is legitimate. And again, I, I, I really appreciate you bringing up the grandkids because every one of my kids, every one of my grandkids is involved in the business. I have so many people who have been associates and representatives with me for 30 years or more. All their kids and grandkids and great grandkids are in the business. And so it's, it's really a family oriented business. And of course, if your, if your young Jibbity business has a, a little bowling team or a softball team, or, you know, beyond, belong to some of these peewee leagues or anything like that, all of that's tax deductible. Right. Even if you want to take a prospective or a possible client to lunch, business, oh, uh, absolutely. dinners. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is where that book, Wall Street for Kids, it teaches you how to write a business plan. So all of that sort of expense becomes legitimately tax deductible and it helps you build your business. It helps you maintain your business. And it's a repeatable thing. In other words, everybody in your business, you get them to buy the textbook, which is a tax deductible cost, right? Mm -hmm. The textbook. And you're going to have a uniform result in your business because everybody's going to have the same benefits. Everybody's going to know what to do to make their business flourish. And, you know, like myself, I was just a dumb farm kid from Missouri. The only business I knew was I chopped wood for the neighbors and got a, a you know, he'd give you a $5 bill. And we would take calves into to the market and get a check. That's all I knew about business. Well, you have to learn about business if you're going to do business. So we came up with this book. Uh, it's actually called Wallach Street for Kids, like my last name, Wallach Street for Kids. We shortened it to Wall Street for Kids. And uh, we sell an enormous number of those books because families today, with all the expenses, all the things that cost money, it almost costs money just to breathe. And so you need to get as many legitimate tax deductions as you can. And the secret, don't tell anybody, but the secret is if you own your own business, you get every tax deduction is available to trillionaires and billionaires. You get the same tax deductions by just coming up with a business plan. And the book, Wall Street, Wall Street for Kids, teaches you how to do that. And the cost of the book is tax deductible. Now, Doc, there's an even bigger secret that you didn't mention when you become a distributor. That is a chance to get your car bonus. Now, the car oh, bonus oh. is great, man. This is even this is <laughs> this is great. Tell people what the car bonus is. This is just one of the possible things that you can get when you become a distributor is the car bonus. Well, yeah, a car bonus, of course. Um, you get up to six hundred bucks a month, I think. Now, you know, to to uh, buy the car of your choice, and it's tax deductible. That six hundred bucks is tax deductible. Now, what okay. if I've already got the car of my choice? Well, trade it in for a new one and get the new one underneath your longevity company. That's a great idea. Why should you pay for the car when your company should buy you the car? And it's tax deductible. So a longevity offers coding bonuses, car bonuses, the quick start bonus, the fast start bonus. They'll, they'll send you a check. As soon as you sign somebody up, they'll send you out a check the following Monday. Uh, longevity doesn't goof around when it comes to paying their distributors, Doc. Yeah, well, we're very proud of that. And, of course, we learned... But if you reward people and have these weekly meetings, and of course, um, any cost to you is tax deductible, there's all these places, 
chain stores or chain restaurants. They'll give you a room every Tuesday night or Thursday night for a couple of hours. If everybody who goes in there buys a cup of coffee or has a bowl of soup or something like that, you can have your meetings do a little bit of training. And that's a good place to bring new people to introduce them to what's going on and meet some others, meet your sponsor, meet somebody who's going to give a little training meeting. And uh, some of them, they, they actually go into a lot of stuff. I mean, we have them, we do karaoke at some of these meetings and things. It's so much fun. It's, again, another family. Churches get involved. We have so many, I mean, big-name churches all over the world, uh, big-name pastors. And then the little guys, the little pastors, okay, that have, you know, a church with maybe just a couple hundred members. And we have people with members of a million who talk about our, our products and things. And, you know, people like uh, Pastor Benny Hinn, uh, Pastor Mike Freeman, Pastor Creflo Dollar, uh, Jim Baker, these guys – uh, they are so wonderful to us. And I go around the world. And I give events at their churches in the evening. Every once in a while, they'll let me, they'll let me preach to them on, on, on a Sunday. But certainly, um, when we go there, we will speak to crowds of 5,000 people um, about the longevity business uh, to the churches. We have so many wonderful stories where people who are supposed to be dead by morning lived because of the minerals. People who their child was after... Uh, just a couple of weeks was supposed to be dead. Now, 20 years later, have a couple of grandkids for them just simply because they were given these nutrients and doctors had written them off. And this is why these pastors are so involved with what we do because they see. And of course, everything we use, we give God all the credit. Okay. It's not like I'm taking credit for everything. I'm just uh, using whatever's there and um, put it into a system. So where the average person, you don't have to be a PhD, you don't have to be a medical doctor to use a healthy bone and joint pack for bones and joints. You don't have to be a doctor to know to use a healthy blood sugar pack for diabetes. You don't have to be a doctor to know to use a healthy weight loss pack for weight loss. And you don't have to be a doctor, doc, to earn a decent living. I had a friend who had, his mother had just got out of medical school and was, you know, had just become a doctor. And he told me how much she was making and I was thinking, holy cow. She should become a distributor. You can make much more money without, <laughs> without going into debt. I can't believe what an opportunity Longevity offers to people who want to become a distributor. It's a fantastic yeah. opportunity. Yeah, well, everybody should introduce their doctor, whether he's a medical doctor, DO, chiropractor, an HPATIC doctor, nurse practitioner. Everybody who's in the health profession should be a Longevity associate or representative because it will make them much more efficient. They will relieve the discomforts and pain and miseries of so many people who they cannot help using pharmaceuticals. So in many, many healthy years of these people's lives, which they cannot do doing what they're doing as a medical professional. And we do have, I think probably it's interesting. Now this is interesting to me. I think the, the, the uh, healthcare profession that we have the most members in longevity as associates and representatives are pharmacists. Now pharmaceuticals are all that great. Why are they coming to me? I think the answer is right there for us to see, right? <laughs> it's right there. All right, Doc, we've been talking about all the Healthy Start packs, or at least most of them. We've talked about how to become a distributor. We've even talked about health for your pets. Now, let's talk about some training stuff. Let's talk about some questions that people might ask you when you are a distributor. So we're, we're thinking now, people who are distributors, now I want to talk to them. I want to offer them answers for questions that people will ask them. For, for instance, this one. What do I take for my vision? What do I take to make my vision better? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you, but here's where people want to get a hold of some of the books and CDs and DVDs. We okay. have so many tools. Mm -hmm. We have 14 books. I have a new one coming out here in a month. My 15th book, I'm sure it'll be a bestseller. It's already a bestseller before it's even gotten published. And then we have, I guess, probably about 50 major DVDs, some of which were, were made in churches. Um, I have over 100 CDs. And they're training CDs and training DVDs. For instance, people who exercise, let's just take somebody who's an uh, exerciser or coach of a team. What CD and DVD would they give to their athletes? What about exercise without supplementation and suicide? What about dead athletes don't lie? And then, of course, they want to get a hold of the book Epigenetics. Okay, Epigenetics goes into all the diseases that athletes die from. Instead of you having to speak to them for three hours twice a day for a year, 
um, say, okay, listen to these CDs, watch the DVDs, read the books, and then let's talk at the meeting Tuesday night. And if you want to give a report on what you read and what you listened to to everybody else, it'd be great. That'll help you learn it more and then show them that they need to use the tools too. So everybody's giving the same answer to the same question. And that's a fear that a lot of people have, Dave. Oh my gosh, I have to ask these guys questions and then decide what they need. No, it's already been determined. Mm. So all you have to do is ask them the questions which the CDs, the DVDs, and the books teach you to ask. And everybody's going to give the same answer to the same question. If everybody has access to the same material in the books and the CDs and DVDs, everybody gives the same answer to the same question. You've got a business. Okay, well, if anybody wants to get a hold of your books, Dr. Wallach, you offer a whole bunch of books and training CDs, DVDs. All of it can be found at drjwallach.com. That's Dr. D R J Wallach.com. Or you can call 1 800 756 4656. That number again is 1 800 756 4656. You can find all kinds of training material, including all the books that Doc has written, DVDs, CDs. Even cassettes, everything is available right there, drjwallach.com, and that's drjwallach.com, 1-800-756-4656. Okay, so what are some of the other common questions that you get, Dr. Wallach? I think um, the most common one is, well, my doctor says it's genetic because we've got five generations in my family with plaque in their arteries. Mm -hmm. So, well, let's talk about what your family eats. Well, we're Italian. So, you know, we eat a lot of spaghetti, um, we eat a lot of salads. Well, wh what do you put on your salads? Well, we have uh, um, olive oil. Well, that's why everybody's got plaques in their arteries. Because olive oil oxidizes and turns into trans fats, heterocycamines, and acrylamides. And people say, well, um, every, every one of our kids has asthma. Well, that's because you're giving them Italian bread or spaghetti, all this gluten, they can't absorb the nutrients that are necessary to prevent and reverse asthma. Asthma is caused by deficiency of a single nutrient. You take that nutrient and you absorb it, asthma will go away in days or weeks. I don't care if you've had it for 30 years. Asthma is a simple deficiency of a single class of nutrients. I know kids who have asthma, right away, you know they're eating gluten. Oh, you eat pancakes for breakfast. Well, how do you know? Eat mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. What about spaghetti? When you put croutons in your salad, oh, yeah, I can't eat salad without croutons. Well, that's why you have asthma. You get rid of all the gluten, no croutons, no pancakes, no waffles, no spaghetti, no mac and cheese, no bread. Well, what do we eat? Well, what about baked sweet potatoes and rice, vegetables, butter, fish, cheese, red meat, poultry, no frying, no salad dressings, no oils. And guess what? Asthma will go away in weeks. Okay, we're speaking today with Dr. Joel Wallach. We've covered a lot of stuff pretty quickly here. If you want to find out more, and again, you want printed material, books, CDs, DVDs, go to his website, drjwallach.com. That's drjwallach.com, and Wallach is spelled W-A-L-L-A-C-H. That's drjwallach.com, or call 1-800-755-4656. That's 1-800-755-4656 to order books, DVDs, CDs, and more. All right, let's talk about some of our most popular products, some of our most requested products. I would say up near the top of the list is the Ultimate Daily Classic. Doc, what is in the Ultimate Daily Classic? Okay, Ultimate Daily Classic was designed to deal with habit pressure, things like kidney failure, people who are on dialysis, people who have glaucoma, any vascular thing going on. They got uh, coronary artery disease. They got blockage of the arteries. And the doctors are talking about bypass and stents and all that kind of stuff. The carotid arteries are plugged. Uh, we have people, Dave, who've been uh, on dialysis for 25 years. The last 10 years, they've been on dialysis six days a week because they haven't urinated in 10 years. You get them on the healthy brain and heart pack, get rid of all the gluten out of their life, get them on the... Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets, three twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. Two weeks' time, these people are beginning to urinate. In three weeks' time, they're urinating. And in six to eight weeks' time, they're off of dialysis after 25 years. Our quickest one was two weeks in Canada. It was a Canadian. They've been on dialysis for 25 years. The last 10 years, hadn't urinated, been on dialysis six days a week. And we get them on the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, get them on the 
uh, Ultimate Daily Classic tablets, and it all goes away. Let's move on to Glucogel. I also get a lot of requests for Glucogel, the Glucogel capsules and the liquid, but mostly the, the capsules. People who are having bone and joint problems, but, but specifically joint problems, I tell them to mm -hmm. take as many as eight Glucogel per day because there's enough in the bottle to take eight Glucogel per day and just wait. And I tell you, by the end of the week, they are amazed, Dr. Wallach. Glucogel is fantastic stuff. What is it about Glucogel that makes it so special? Well, again, it's the raw material for your stem cells and your joints to make cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between the vertebrae. Now, here it comes, bone matrix. Now, people forget about bone matrix. Bone matrix is kind of like the rebar of the bone. If you boil bones, the minerals, including the calcium, comes out of the bones. And we used to drink the soup. We'd, we'd boil bones overnight, you know, on top of the wood stove and um, drink the soup because all the minerals would come out of the bones. Well, the bones, you could tie them in knots back then because all the minerals were out, but that rebar, that bone matrix was almost like tendon-like material, is actually where we get the glucogel from. You know, we just grind up people and get the glucogel from people's bones. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Zerafam and Zeratest. I'm sure you're familiar with these products. The, oh, yeah. Uh, Zerafam and Zeratest, they seem similar. They have a similar name. I'm assuming they are both for hormonal support. What for is males it? and females. For females and males, yes. Uh, Zerafam, I have heard a lot of good stuff about Zerafam. How does that help with women's hormonal support? What does this do? Okay, well, here's the deal. The ovaries and the corpus luteums, which are what happens in ovarian egg when it ovulates, it makes hormones. Well, it requires raw materials to do that. Your stem cells require these nutrients to make the hormones. You cannot always get these nutrients from your food, especially if you're eating gluten. You can't absorb them even if they were there. So the only way you're going to guarantee that you're going to get these things, um, you know, when people have sex issues, you know, guys or Viagra guys uh, or women have menopause at age 20 or they have very, very painful periods and men just, uh, I don't know, I haven't thought about girls in a long time. Nothing's happening. I'm losing all my hair or all that kind of stuff. Well, the raw materials for the testicles to make testosterone, the raw materials for ovaries to make estrogen and progesterone are for women, Zerafem, F-E-M, okay? And for the male, Zeratest, T-E-S-T, for testosterone. Now, you still need both the women and the guys, both need to eat a minimum of three eggs with soft yolks twice a day. You know, soft boiled, soft yolks, soft poached, soft yolks, soft, 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 scrambled in butter. They gotta be runny because hormones, Estrogen and testosterone, Dave, are 95% by weight cholesterol. You go on a cholesterol-restricted diet. You take statin drugs. I don't care how much zero test you take. There ain't nobody home anymore because you need the cholesterol from the eggs to make the hormones. Okay, that's Zeratest and Zerafem, but those are both for hormonal support. Zerafem is for girls and Zeratest is for boys. Don't get them mixed up. Now, Doc, you grew up on a farm, right? Mm-hmm. How important is mineral supplementation for our soil? Because I know one of the other products that we sell is a product called Bloomin' Minerals, and this is to help restore a healthy balance of minerals in our soil. How important is that? Okay, for two reasons. You, you hit the nail on the head here. Number one, remember, plants require three minerals from the soil to make everything they need to make. Now they take carbon dioxide out of the air. But to convert that carbon dioxide gas into carbon chains to make proteins and, and sugars and carbohydrates and fats and fiber and uh, hormones and all the stuff we get from plants, you need all these minerals. Well, plants only need three. We need 60. So when you're going to fertilize the soil. In the old days, where did we get our fertilizer? Well, if you didn't live near a river that would flood every spring and you'd get the silt you know, from the mountains and so forth every spring to renew the soil, people would throw their wood ashes into the gardens. Now, wood ashes are not all the same. Some wood ashes have three minerals in them. That's all the tree needs. Some wood ashes have five. Some wood ashes have eight. Some wood ashes have 12. Some wood ashes have 20. Some wood ashes have 30. Some wood ashes have 40. Some wood ashes have 50. You throw those wood ashes into the garden, the plants suck up the minerals and wood ashes, and then you eat the garden vegetables, the squash and the carrots and the bell peppers and the tomatoes and peas and so forth. And you're getting the minerals 
that those plants sucked up out of the soil. But if you're only giving those plants the three minerals they need, that's all you're going to get is three because plants cannot make minerals. Plants make carbon compounds from carbon dioxide in the air, which brings me to one more piece here. Have you ever heard of Tesla? Sure. Okay, I was their featured speaker this last year, their annual meeting in Albuquerque, New Mexico, because I figured out why the carbon dioxide is going up in the atmosphere and how to reverse it. They studied me for three months, Dave. They ran up and down all my references. They went to my schools. They went everywhere to make sure I wasn't just making everything up. I was a featured speaker at Tesla's annual meeting. Now, they made a DVD out of that presentation. We're selling them like crazy. It's called A Prescription for Mother Earth. The magazine with that article in it is coming out and... I'm slated to be their featured speaker again in 2020, and we're so excited because all the details that we purposely sort of left out pieces in the lecture and the magazine to be shown at this second lecture coming up and also the second magazine coming up. Now, here's the deal. All plants can convert carbon dioxide gas to carbon chains amino acids for proteins, fatty acids for fats, sugars, right, are made out of carbon chains, carbohydrates are made out of carbon chains, hormones are made out of carbon chains. But to make that conversion, plants require 20 nutrients, 17 of which are minerals, three are non-mineral nutrients. Well, here's the problem. You can't find those nutrients in the plants anymore. Why is that? Well, grandma's not throwing the wood ashes from the garden into the garden anymore. And guess what? We cut off the food supply to the ocean. What? What do you mean, Wallach? We cut off the food supply to the ocean. Have you ever heard of hydroelectric plants, Dave? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, they require dams, right, in the streams and the rivers and so mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. And there's over one million hydroelectric plants in the major rivers around the world. There's two million dams around the world for water storage and for reservoirs for irrigation, for a total of three million dams damming up every river and tributary. We cut off the food supply to the ocean. We cut off the food supply to the reefs. Our first goal here in 2020, we're gonna regrow the Great Barrier Reefs. I know exactly what to do. Now here's, here's the story there. The short version is 35, 40 years ago, in Queensland, which is in the northeast corner of Australia, where the Great Barrier Reef hugs that shoreline, 35 years ago, Queensland put 247 dams damming up every river and tributary in Queensland, eight of which were for hydroelectrics and the rest were for water storage and irrigation reservoirs. Within a year, the western side of the Great Barrier Reef was dying and struggling. Ten years ago, Pow Pow New Guinea began to build dams for electricity, cut off the food supply to the northern end and the eastern side of the Great Barrier Reef. And now the Great Barrier Reef is close to death. Well, guess what? I figured out how to get all that silt from behind all these dams. I've patented some augers that are going to go in the dams, around the dams, over the dams, get that silt going downriver into the reef. We're going to have our Bloomin' Minerals, which is our product, 78 minerals in barges at the northern end of each of these reefs. We're gonna dribble those minerals out as well as get the silt back. And these reefs will all come back to life because we're feeding the algae, which will take the carbon dioxide out of the air. The carbon dioxide level will drop like crazy because right now the algae cannot use the carbon dioxide because they don't have the minerals to convert it to the carbon chains. Okay, so why are the great reefs dying? Well, they're, they're dying of these diseases which because they're deficient. Okay, well, what about their food? Well, their food doesn't have those nutrients because they're deficient. Their food doesn't have, their food doesn't. So I went down to the basic beginning and all came back to those hydroelectric dams, damming up the rivers and streams to make electricity, cut off the food supply to the algae, which then went up the chain to the reef polyps. We're speaking with Dr. Wallach today. He's letting us know that that's amazing, Doctor. So you're going to be back in 2020 to go speak in front of the Tesla Corporation again? Oh, absolutely. I'm the featured speaker again, 2020, already, already on the program. Uh, let's talk some more of our favorite products. Uh, Men's Health, Prost FX. Can we talk about that? 
Okay. Well, you know, one of the things that men go through as they get older, um, they start having prostate issues. There's several possibilities here. One, of course, is just the simple nutrients that are necessary for the prostate to work. Remember, there's stem cells in the prostate gland that require the nutrients to maintain and repair and replace the dying cells in the prostate, which they all do. But also, I'd say probably 70% of the time when people have, when men have what they call a prostate issue, and they have burning on urination or they may, uh, you know, wet their pants and have to get up 16 times at night to pee and all that kind of stuff, they actually have sciatica. The discs are shrinking in between the disc, and the discs are squeezing the nerves that control the urinary bladder. So we deal with both of these issues with the healthy bone and joint pack, and we throw in prostate effects. So we're covering both possibilities without invasive, expensive tests. And don't forget the zero test. Throw that in, too. Can't hurt. All right. All right, Doc. Sounds good. Next up, let's talk about Occutive and Vision FX. Can you tell me a little bit about these products? Okay, well, Occutive and Vision FX are both designed to give the retina of the eye what they need for their stem cells to make new cells replace the ones that are dying. Now, this includes people who eat a lot of fried foods, and so they're getting free radical damage on top of the natural death of the tissues in the eye, but they're also getting free radical damage. Uh, they're getting plaque in the arteries of the eye, so you, you also want to throw in the Ultimate Daily Classic tablets to support healthy blood flow through the blocked arteries in the eyes, and that will help with glaucoma, where the pressure in the eyes goes up, right, because the arteries and veins are all plugged. But Occutive uh, has a tremendous antioxidant power, and, of course, um, I use all three of those when it comes to people with macular degeneration, glaucoma, cataracts. If you catch cataracts early enough, they're reversible. Cataracts are, are again, caused by free radical damage, eating fried foods, processed meats, oils, glutens, trans fats, heterosynthetic means, acrylamide, sugar, all that kind of stuff, too much alcohol. You've got to get rid of the bad stuff and gluten. And then you throw in the healthy brain and heart pack because the eyes are just an extension of the brain. The eyes are actually part of the brain. And so you have to treat the eyes like the brain. So you still need three eggs with soft yolks twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. You have eye problems because you need the cholesterol for the eyes to function properly. One of the products that we have, Immortalium, is designed to extend the life of telomeres. Can you explain to us what that means? Okay, well, telomeres are specific structures. They're sort of end caps on the legs of chromosomes. And um, like all stem cells, their stem cells are just in a specific location on chromosomes. You can actually measure Say I take a, a baby's stem cell measurements and telomere measurements at the end of his cr chromosomes, and it'll be a certain length. When he's six years old, it'll be shorter. When he's 12 years old, it'll be shorter. When he's 25 years old, it'll be shorter. That's because he's not getting the nutrients to maintain them. Now, you start giving the 90 cents of nutrients and the eggs, you know, with soft yolks. Suddenly now, your telomeres and your, and your stem cells are the same size when you're born, when you're five, when you're 10, when you're 25, when you're 50, when you're 100, when you're 200. Then you're going to maximize your lifespan. Then you're going to maximize your health. Just remember, telomeres are the name of specific stem cells in a specific location, but they function the same as all other stem cells. So is it fair to say that Immortalium is designed to slow down or, I don't want to say reverse, but at least to slow down the aging process? Absolutely. Immortalium is, a, is actually designed specifically with the research on the requirements of stem cells. This it has the specific requirements for stem cell nutrition in that product. Boy, Doc, you know, we've covered a lot of things today, but before I let you go, I want to talk about at least one more thing, and that is mental health. Can longevity, can nutrition, and the minerals and supplements, can you help people who are having issues with mental health? Okay. You cannot name me a mental disease that's not caused by a nutritional deficiency. We're talking about suicidal behavior. We're talking about violent behavior. Remember, I had what today would be called Tourette syndrome when I was a kid, when I was four. They didn't even have a name for it back then. I was very violent, very destructive and very aggressive, hurting other people and hurting myself. And in three days taking the nutrients, it went away. After five years of getting worse and 20 doctors saying they didn't know what to do for it and blah, 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 blah. Now, it turns out there's one nutrient that will prevent and reverse suicidal behavior autism, depression, mass depression, bipolar disease, mass murderers, serial killers, mass shooters, 
This is all caused by the lack of a single nutrient. People say, we don't know why. This guy shot up Vegas, killed 58 people and wounded 400. We still don't know why. He was a billionaire. He had all the money in the world. What's the matter with this guy? Well, I knew exactly as soon as I saw his picture. Why did I know just from his picture? His face was as red as a raw steak. Okay, that's called rosacea. Rosacea is caused by deficiency of that one nutrient. He had a gluten problem. He was not supplementing. and But you take the healthy brain and heart pack, get off all the bad foods. And I, I mean, I get so many people who their kids are really, really just like me. We're in bad shape. They're on medications. They go to all these classes. Uh, they're locked up. They're incarcerated in mental homes. Are they incarcerated just with drugs at home? They just sitting there like a zombie because they're on drugs. You get them on the 90 cent nutrients, you get them on eggs, and get them off all the bad foods. In two weeks' time, they're improved. In a month's time, they're totally different people. In six weeks' time, all their problems are gone. But you ask the psychiatrist, they oh, no, no, they got to be on the drugs. Well, it's because he makes his living by selling the drugs. So stay on the drugs, but take the 90 cents of nutrients. And then as the kid gets better, you know, just cut the medications by 10%. Wow. Kids still getting better. Well, cut it by another 10%. So it might take three months to totally cut them off all the medications. Or if you're afraid to do that yourself, go to the doctor and say, hey, this kid's doing better. I want you to cut the medications here. If you're not going to cut it, I'll go to another doctor and have him cut it. So the 90 essential nutrients, mineral supplementation is so critical from everything from your physical health to your mental health and even the health of our environment. That is correct. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Wallach. I appreciate it. Well, I just want to thank you so much, Dave. You know, we worked together for years and just, you know, glad to continue our wonderful relationship here to help your listeners and to help Americans in general and, of course, help these people in all these other 50 countries. And I think if we make everybody around the world healthy, including their mental health, we can save the world a lot of grief. All right, Doc. Sounds good. We'll do it again soon. Let's do it. Thank you, sir. Okay, we've been speaking with Dr. Joel Wallach. I hope we answered some of your questions. I'm sure you have more. And if you do, you want to log on to his website, drjwallach.com, or call 1-800-755-4656. That number is 1-800-755-4656. The website is drjwallach.com. And that's drjwallach.com. Wallach is spelled W-A-L-L-A-C-H. Now, that's to order his books, CDs, and DVDs. If you want to find out more about Longevity, either the products or the business opportunity, call 831-218-5726. That's 831-218-5726. Leave a message, and we'll get right back to you. If you'd rather send an email, send it to dm at ksco.com. That's D as in David, M as in Michaels, at ksco.com. Thank you for listening. We'll talk to you next time.